Okay, you wanted to know how to feather those edges. It really depends on what you have going on in your file. I don't know. I've just gone ahead and got the original file. Here it is. Let's go ahead and disable the layer mask. There it is. I created a layer mask and have it just blocking out stuff like that. In case you don't know how to create a layer mask, I guess I should show you that. So we'll hide that layer and we will say delete layer mask. So now we have this whole area here. I'm going to go ahead, oh, I'll just use a quick polygon selection and just go ahead, whatever selection tool you used. Very rough, very dirty here, just to get an idea. And then I come down here to this icon right there, the layer mask. I'll click it and there we go. If it comes out backwards, sometimes it does edit step backward. It's based on your colors down here. So if those are swapped and you click on it, and whoop, well actually this time it's not. Well if it does come out you can do image um, invert. It's control I. I know that. Oh where is it though? Um, adjustments invert. So if it comes out like that when you do your layer mask image adjustments invert or control I. So anyway, once you have that, and I've done this one a little bit nicer, not actually much nicer, but a little bit. Once you have that, if you want to feather that sort of blur it, it's very easy to do. You just go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and you play with it. How much do I want it to be blurred? Looks good. Click OK and done. But chances are you did not do a mask, you just have a regular layer where you have made those nice crisp outside and you want that to be blurred. Well, if you try that same trick, there's not the stuff out here for it to blur into, so you create some problems. But what you can do is go to the eraser tool, come here and set the hardness all the way to zero. Make sure that hardness is zero. Size you could play around with. Um, if you want it bigger, I'm holding down the square brackets right bracket is bigger, left bracket is smaller, or you can come here and you can adjust it this way, whatever you want to do, and then just come around here and you can delete those edges, and it's doing so in a soft way, and I think that's really what you're after when you're talking about feathering the edges. It's, it's sort of having that blurred edge. I could go around the edge, whoops, I probably did a little bit too much there, step backward. The, the challenge here is you cannot um, undo that. You might want to, if you want something a little bit better where you can undo it, you can do sort of that same trick. I'm going to say step backward all the way back. There we go. I can, on the same la layer, add a mask, make sure I am painting in black. Do my paintbrush. Again, make sure hardness is zero come down here. The advantage of doing it this way is, oh my goodness, I've just made a horrible grievous error. I could just come down here, switch my colors, and I could paint it right back in. Switch my colors back, which by the way is the X key, so I could go back and forth between that. I'm hitting X, and I'm now undoing and doing. So I could really quickly go through here and sort of feather that look, get that outside blurred a little bit, and if I want, um, you know, if I come in too far, it's non-destructive. I can add a little bit back. And so that right there, probably, I, I came up with that one pretty much as I was doing the video, is probably going to be your best bet. So just to recap that one, I'm going to go ahead and delete that layer mask. I get the whole thing. So here's my layer. I add a layer mask, go into my brush tool, Make sure it has a very soft edge, so 0% hardness. Come in and just go ahead and put a mask around that edge. It's still there, the image. It's just being hidden by a mask. And then really quickly, you can go through and soften that edge completely non-destructively so that if you, you know, make one of those mistakes, easy enough to fix. And I hope that helps you out.